Former presidential candidate Herman Cain has died at 74. Cain died in an Atlanta area hospital where he had been critically ill for several weeks. He had tested positive for coronavirus on July the 1st. He was hospitalized after testing positive two days earlier for the novel corona infection. It remained unclear Thursday how he contracted the coronavirus infection. The radio host who had traveled frequently attended President Donald Trump's rally on June 20th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Kane grew up in Georgia where he attended Morehouse College. He started his career as a civilian employee of the United States Navy before shifting into the corporate world in the 1980s. A successful stint as a business executive at Burger King prompted Pillsbury to appoint him as the chairman and CEO of Godfather's Pizza, a role he held from 1986 to 1996. From 1989 to 1991, Kane served as the chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank in Kansas City's Omaha branch. He entered politics as a senior economic advisor to Republican Bob Dole during his 1996 bid for the presidency. Kane briefly rose to the top of the polls during the 2012 race for the Republican presidential nomination by highlighting a plan to simplify the tax code with what he called the Plan 999. On the campaign trail, he spoke about being diagnosed in 2006 with four-stage liver cancer and his doctors giving him slim hope for long-term survival. Cain was survived by his wife and two children and several grandchildren. Thank you guys for listening. This is Felicia Lockhart.